also I was going to be doing something of a like week in my life kind of vlog or just kind of a general discussion about the treadmill I've been using and how I've been working while walking pretty much for the whole month of August and now going into the month of September and I was really excited to film more clips uh, about that and kind of talk about this specific treadmill in more depth but I have been experiencing some serious issues trying to get this one to work. It's worked great for I would say the past two years, no problems, and I've been adding belt lubricant as you can see. Basically it's just been leaking up through the sides because I've just been trying so hard to get this baby to keep going, but every time I step on it, it's been starting to halt. I'm a little scared to do this. Oh! <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Yeah, no, that's the issue. That's kind of a bummer. I'm still going to try to turn up the speed and use this for today to at least get my like 10 to 12,000 steps in, but I also know that this probably doesn't have more than a day left in it. It might be a motor issue. So I'm going to go online, read some reviews later during like my lunch break and try to find a comparable uh, treadmill that I can purchase with uh, emergency savings. I don't want to dig from those savings, but this is definitely something that I am invested in and that I don't want to give up at this point. I would rather get this done, invest in maybe a better one, and hopefully that will, yeah, hopefully that will solve the problem. Yeah, everyone's okay when no one's on it. What do you think, bud? It's a shame, it's a bummer. Um, I'll definitely let you guys know which one I end up getting, and I will definitely be doing my research first. So I did eventually place an order for a new treadmill. This one's highly rated. So this is the Go Youth treadmill. I ordered the white one and right now it's on sale from $469 to $389. That's a pretty good deal. I think that's about what I paid for this Red Lero treadmill. Uh, my only concern is that I will be going out of town for a wedding in a few days and the treadmill is supposed to get here anytime from the Wednesday before uh, the trip to I think it's like the Thursday after the trip so I'm hoping it gets here like the first day that it can arrive. I would imagine that with all the rain we've been getting for hurricane season that it would be damaged sitting outside for however long. Um, we're not gonna be gone long it's just a couple days but I still wouldn't feel comfortable with a big expensive piece of equipment being left on my front step where there's hardly any coverage. Um, so we'll see how it goes, fingers crossed. In the meantime, I have been just doing my best to push the belt behind me while walking, walking on the treadmill. Here you can see how like I lubed it so much thinking that it would help, but it's just coming out the sides. So, as an, <laughs> as an update, I'm walking on it. It's kind of like pseudo successful, but it feels bumpy. Just gonna push through it. This must be what walking on a manual treadmill feels like, where you're just like grabbing it with your foot and pushing back. Yeah, if I can just get it to like even 15,000 steps today, I think we'll be in better shape. Okay, so done for the day. I'm gonna check the stats. 
Uh, so the treadmill ended up working basically the whole time, but I had to kind of push it with my feet and keep it going forward. Let's see the totals for today. But yeah, oh, definitely uh, surpassed 10 to 12,000. So this is a little awkward because I don't really vlog with other people around, but we're going on a road trip to my boyfriend's friend's well, I guess he's my friend too. Wedding. This is officially the opening to that. I might redo this afterwards, retroactively, but in the meantime, here we go. Stopping to get coffee and then uh, start heading four or five hours down to Cocoa Beach. Okay, so we're not getting there yet, but we decided to take a little bit of a detour and we're now at Bucky. I've never been. It's rained off and on. Um, passed, passed a lot of uh, wrecks and stuff on the way, but uh, yeah. Fingers crossed that the uh, second half of the leg, second half of the second half of the trip goes a bit more smooth. But yes, yeah, check out Bucky's. at a rest stop. My treadmill, the replacement one for the one that I am having a hard time using. My replacement treadmill is still en route. Um, it got delayed in Pooler, which is the town over from Savannah. And I placed a vacation hold because I just can't imagine it sitting out there for like 24 hours. But anyway. So we made it, it was pouring when we got here so much that you couldn't even stand under the overhang without getting soaked. And it's been thundering and lightning, so it may or may not be possible to actually enjoy the facilities here while we're here, but it is what it is. We got here safe. Rain is starting to die down and uh, yeah, we're gonna go look for some food and uh, make what we can of it. the harmony of the seas the next morning by the way he couldn't help we're gonna try to board there's been kind of some stress and confusion about what exactly is needed in order to get on but feels a lot better today and also it not being pouring right off the bat is pretty nice anyway circle back to this afterwards forward to getting there about halfway up there and we are stopping at a Trader Joe's. That's the reason to go on trips like this. Sorry, Gage. Maya. So 
So it's the next day. I didn't film in Trader Joe's at all. See, we don't have a Trader Joe's here in Savannah, unfortunately. So, all right, here I am shooting it in cinematic mode because I was hoping to avoid the background, but I don't think it's really working out here. Okay, that's a lot better. So really excited about some new stuff I haven't seen there before. The pumpkin overnight face mask, heck yeah. Some pumpkin pie spice for my oats. There's a few things here for Joe. Um, we've got the banana chocolate chip muffins. That's something he picked out. The peanut butter, what? The peanut butter, peanut butter filled pretzel. Some cashews. I'm really excited to make this in the near future. Love blondies. And then of course, the last time I went to Trader Joe's, I picked up one box of these and it was not enough because I'd never had them before and didn't realize that they were the best thing on the planet. Got some of their fruit and veggie wash. I restocked on some smoked paprika. Had to get this in the pumpkin scent because I'm still using the uh, coconut right now. Restocked on the Enrich because it's the moisturizer I use in the morning specifically because it has SPF 15 there. Gonna try this for the first time, their hair mask. Also got their little trio of the candles and kind of more of a summery scent, but that's okay. It's kind of summery still here in Savannah. I'm sure everyone who has a Trader Joe's in their neighborhood is absolutely cringe right now because they're like, yeah, of course, this is part of your haul. We see this every day. Non-dairy pumpkin oat beverage. I'm kind of excited to try this in my coffees in the morning. And also, because I have one of those Keurig cups that you can fill yourself, I'm excited to try autumn maple coffee. That sounds delicious. Honestly, I like pumpkin stuff for fall, but more than that, maple, maple is where it's at. It's here, it arrived. I worked out yesterday, so I'm pretty sore and I'm not really going to be able to get this into my office by myself, I don't think. I might give it a try after work. I don't really have the time during my lunch break to get this put together, so. It's done. I have such a bad headache right now, but when my boyfriend got home, he helped me get this bad boy up and running. So much smoother already. And apparently it has a Bluetooth speaker in it. Not sure if I'd ever really utilize that feature, but it's running so freaking smooth. I love it so much. So I know I'm not really doing very good transitions between days. I know that this vlog has kind of run a little long and it's a little scattered, but also that's okay. You know, we get better by getting our reps in. Super pleased with this treadmill. It's the, um, the Go Youth treadmill. It has the option of um, either sounding as it counts down from three, two, one, and then start, but you do have the option to mute that and the remote is a lot cuter and more slim than the one for my last treadmill. It did come without the little backing to the battery pack, but I reached out to customer service last night and they've already written back. They've asked for the model number and I think the order confirmation. And so they're just gonna send a whole new remote. Easy peasy. Yeah, basically push the on button and it counts down and then it gets going. Super cute. Oh, also, for some reason, or I don't know how it does this, I guess it's just that smart, but it starts to count your steps for you. I think it has to like toggle, there it goes. Count steps. I mean, that's kind of redundant because I have my tracker, but yeah, I'm really digging this. It has Bluetooth speakers. Again, not really sure what I would use that for, especially because I play some ambient music while I'm working. Anyway, just wanted to hop on during my lunch and show you guys. But that'll probably be it for this vlog. It's been one heck of a week. Feels like it's been five, but that's okay. Sometimes things don't really go as planned, but 
we make it work and sometimes the result is worth the wait. Anyway, yeah, I look forward to making more videos, making some more content, sharing how my walking and my step count and my progress is going. So uh, thank you for following along and I'll talk to you soon.